In this video, I'm going to be sharing the two different ways that we can perceive time and how this can change your life. So everybody's trying to get to heaven. Everybody's waiting to be raptured. They want to go to heaven. But heaven and earth is actually the same thing. Welcome back to another video. I'm Mark Arrow and I share biblical truths and practical spiritual life hacks that can change your life. Time is a beautiful scroll. This is what we call non-linear time. No referential points. Everything is connected. This is now where it gets interesting. Everything is connected. Linear time, it just seems that there's like a separation. You've got your past, you've got your present, you've got your future, and that's it. And you're on your journey. You've left off, you've left behind you the past, you're now in the present and you're progressing to the future. There's no referential points. In other words, it's not past, present, future. Everything is connected and I'll explain that now. Occurrences alternatively as the same time. So there, there, there are occurrences that happen that alternatively are as the same time. Now, let me, let me, let me ask you, let me, uh, make this practical. Have you ever had an experience where you might be sitting with a friend or you might be driving the car or you might be cooking or whatever and all of a sudden it more it happens more often when you're actually in a conversation with somebody and you and you actually realize that this has happened before. You actually see the whole thing play out and you can actually predict what's going to happen in the next second or two. That is, I'm sure that's happened to most people. It's happened to me a few times in my life. The reason why that happens, I believe, the reason why that happens is because when you understand time as a scroll, this is your point of departure or what we'll call Genesis. And to go even deeper, I might not get into it in this video, but this is what we call the Eden. Okay. This is your point of departure. So you start here, as you'll see the blue, that is your journey through time. Much as the linear time, you start, you move, you're in your present point and you're moving towards the future. So this is almost like a, an eagle view of, of linear time wrapped up in a scroll. Now, very interestingly, in the book of Hebrews, chapter 1, it says that, let me go there quickly, I don't want to misquote it, but I want to just prove to you that the concept of time scroll is actually very biblical. Hebrews chapter 1, one of my favorite books in the Bible, is a powerful book. Hebrews chapter 1, now listen to verse 12. Like a mantle thrown about, this is from the Amplified, like a mantle thrown about oneself, you will roll them up and they will be changed and replaced by others. You will roll them up. What is God saying there? He's going to roll up time like a scroll. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So, back to the experience. You're sitting, having a conversation with a friend and all of a sudden you see this playing out in front of you as you, you feel like this has happened sometime in your past already. And you can actually predict what's going to happen in the next one or two seconds after that conversation. And then all of a sudden you snap out of it. I believe that happens because of this. Here's your point of departure on the time scroll. You're moving, 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 moving. Stop. You have that experience. Now, if I cut across, I'm cutting across to the left. The left, which is the east. So all of a sudden you cut across. Where are you now? You're moving along the time scroll here. Yeah? You stop here. Yeah? You cut to the left. All of a sudden you find yourself in the future. That, my friends, is time travel. So this is the time capsule. That's eternity. That's the time capsule. This is where we are, right here somewhere. Anyway, we've got Eden. And we've got the new heaven and the new earth right at the end of the time scroll. And right in between there, yeah, we've got separation. That's when the fall happened. So we've got Eden and we've got the new heavens and the new earth. So before time began, this was one. So everybody's trying to get to heaven. Everybody's waiting to be raptured. They want to go to heaven. But heaven and earth is actually the same thing. All that happened at the fall is that Eden and heaven were separated. So heaven's not your destination, heaven's not your home. But anyway, we'll get into that in future videos. If I 
stop and I start to perceive things beyond the linear box that we've held ourselves in. I stop and I actually understand and believe that, you know what? The God I serve, my Creator, my Abba Father, controls times and seasons. And I have that revelation within me and I allow that to become an inner belief system, a positive stronghold that I can actually cut across the time scroll and I can appear in the future. The left to the west. Now, the east, let's say I'm moving along this way. Here's the east. Sorry, wrong. Yes, I'm moving along. Yes, the east. And I know this looks like a whole scribble right now. But I'm enjoying myself. I hope you're enjoying it too. But anyway, I'll try and get it more clear in, in following videos because it really looks like a scribble right now. But anyway, left is right. Now, we find a very interesting account in the book of Ezekiel about a trader from the east called Lucifer who was a king. And then we also hear about in the, the story of Jesus' birth with uh, the three wise men who traveled from the east. Ha! Very, very interesting. Anyway, we will get into that in the following video. But what I wanted to emphasize before I say goodbye in this video is connected. We're all connected. And then the second thing was on the previous chart is, I want to bring it up now, but is your closest proximity to eternity, and this is actually what I want you to, 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 to leave with. Well, you're not sitting in a church, you can't leave anywhere. Well, what I mean is, think about your, the closest, your closest proximity to eternity is your present state of being in your complete awareness of your oneness in Christ Jesus. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, Hit the subscribe button below. I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you in the next video.